our vintage community. Hey, Maria. I'm going to show some uh, stuff that I got from live sales and then show some stuff I got from Goodwill for sales and such. Um, if you hear stuff in the background, there's fireworks going off. I've gotten the, hey everyone, Cad and Gabby and Belinda and Claudia. I just got this out of the box. It's been sitting in my room for like a week. This is a deer planter I got from seller on Instagram. Um, vintage Lolly, L-O-L-L-I. To do this without breaking. Hey, Martha. Martha has been cracking me up. I'm sorry, I've been having the hiccups like all day. Wearing my Fat Bird Fine shirt with my brooch I got from one of their mystery boxes. Yeah, my like St. Patrick's Day esque. Um, oh my gosh, there's a lot of wrapping. And today I finally opened my shipping supplies I ordered. So I got some poly mailers. I got like my thing of tape and I got a scale so I just had the kitchen scale thing and the numbers are like on the top of this like on the flat part of the scale so it's kind of hard to read when you have a box on it so I got one on Amazon thanks cat it has like the smallest closure, so it <laughs> barely grabs anything, but you can also like, it has a pendant thing on the back, so you can also like put it on jewelry, or I could probably like clip it up here or something, but I tested it with the black light ever since I saw you mention about the jewelry, and it doesn't glow, but <laughs> I did find some of my other stuff that glows. Yeah, okay, Gap. Here's my deer planter. And I think, oh wait, no, she had, I was going to say the Vintage Bulldog had something like this today, but it's a little bit different. But isn't that so cute? And I like the little drip glaze. I have some brown drip glaze, so this is more fun. The cute little Bambi. I can't, there's a Bambi planter at the antique mall, and it's like, $40, $50? I don't know. It's been sitting there for like over a year or so. But this I got for like... I swear it was like $12 or something. Like, Or like, I don't know. It was less than $20 and I was like... Mm. <laughs> Not that I super need another deer planner, but this is just so cute. Like, I can picture this going my deer planter and I could put like... Right, we can put my little earrings in here and stuff. So they're in and not just like laying everywhere. But so cute. Hey, Kara, I think. Is KF still? Hey, Annette. Gabby, I've been checking on the packages. i trying to think. I think yours is still in Illinois, but it's away from here. But... It's on its way. A lot of people should be... I'm surprised they didn't get their stuff today, but all my stuff for my sale is out and should be arriving, like, tomorrow, according to shipping, because they're all, like, in... mostly are in the States 
where the people live. So hopefully tomorrow. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Debbie. And Debbie, I think yours is in your state. So hopefully tomorrow you should receive your vase. Um, yeah, I got my shipping supplies. I'm showing you these little... Um, yeah, tomorrow, Monday, they should get it. I got this from Thrift U. Uh, this three, like a set of three of the anti pain pills, if any of y'all remember from their sale. And one of them, they said it had like pills inside. It's not pills, but like, um, I asked my pharmacist, one of them, my manager, if she wants one. So she said she'd pay me for one. Um, this is an Elkhart, Indiana. But so I might split up the things that are inside here with her so she can have some of those. But I thought these are just super cool. I can add it to my pharmacy shelf. I mean, I only need one, so carry if you want one. But what did I miss? If they would take less since it's been there. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Because I remember, I don't think I was there at all during COVID. I remember sending, sending Randy Heilman, like, a picture when I first saw it, and I was like, oh, my God. No, not the pills, Gary. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that has stuff in it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should put some gummies in a bag and keep it in here. <laughs> I got, like, in front of me, my pharmacy shelf is getting pretty loaded, like, but... These, this is really cool. Oh, I hit something. Okay. There's three of the, four of these little bottles and three have corks. And they say Dr. Miles liver pills prepared by the Miles Medical Company. A dose, adult, one pill, one to three times daily. Children, one pill each or every other night. Full directions on folder. But I thought that was just so cool. Like, liver pills. Like, and this, yeah, these, this one's empty. This one has no cap, but still really cool. So I thought, like, there's four I could give her two, and I'll keep two. Uh, and then. Oh, I thought there was something in here, but I think it's actually, maybe it's the broken cork from the one that's missing, because there's, like, little bits in there, if you can see. But I thought that was just, like, really cool, just the old um, advertising, or packaging, you know. Yeah, I agree with Carrie. I need to see a haul. Okay, cool, Carrie. Yeah, because I was like, I just have to get these. These are awesome. And so I'll keep one. I'll sell one to my pharmacist, and then you can have one too, Carrie. Carrie was a pharmacy technician like I like I am. Or she is. I mean, I think she's still licensed. So. <laughs> but, yeah, there's three. Oh, pretty cool. Because usually, you know when you come across pharmacy stuff like this, it's pretty expensive just for one thing. Let me lay these down. And then, let's see, from the Vintage Bulldog, I got this awesome mushroom trivet. Send a picture to Kat because she's a shroom lover too. <laughs> so I've been kind of like slowly collecting these and I got one with like a winter scene. Um, so I, I put that up like above our stove. And I'm gonna put this there too. Just gotta make sure like the hook is strong enough for the tag or 
put a nail up there or something, but a little uh, made in Japan tile. Made in Japan. A little scratched up on the back, but love the mushrooms. Hey, Teresa. Don't forget, every Monday through Friday, Teresa and Lucid have uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Central or Eastern sale. <laughs> the phallic mushrooms, yeah. Um, but they're live every Monday through Friday. And then I got some stuff from Gina that I totally forgot about. <laughs> they're... Gina Vintage Digs. I got this owl trivet. There was some felt falling off the back, so I just... It wasn't even... Well, it was like a... Sort of looked like felt, but it was like paper. I just took it off because it was barely hanging on. Like, it was literally hanging by, like, the smallest little thing. But thought this was pretty cool. I've been kind of, like, collecting trivets. Um, and then I got this butterfly, like, napkin holder. It says, Japan, eight proofs. It's a little bit, uh, rusty, so I don't know if I'll use it for napkins, but, you know, I said it could, you could put stuff in here and hold it, the thing, so I'll find a use for this. Super cute. Katie. <laughs> no, uh, can't. It's my owls. Yes. Who said put that? Oh, Martha, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I do have a mail holder that's <laughs> just boring that I've been wanting to paint, so... I'll use that instead until I repaint that thing. Hey, Erin. Hey, Cindy. And PA. Delbert. And then, uh, I don't even remember if I bought these from Jean or not. I think I did. <laughs> uh, well, the earrings at least. I don't know about the pin. I think I had... Uh, Katie, spoiler alert, I think I was, she was sending a brooch to you for me. I just honestly don't remember. But there's these cool earrings. I mean, they're clip-ons. Uh, I was thinking it'd be, like, kind of cool. Like, if you had a denim shirt or something, you could put them on, like, the lapels up here. Or, like, even at the bottom. Or, like, clipped, you know, just somewhere. Like, you know, like over like where the buttons would be or something just for some like interest. And then here's a tiny little brooch. It's got like, um, see, I don't remember this one. So I was like, maybe she just sent this to me. But there's like a, it's a little hat. And there's kind of like a half pearl looking thing. But it's a like fun, interesting little almost industrial looking brooch. Uh, hey, Christy. Hey, Mystic. Oh, here's Gina. Gina, I've been worried about you. Did your phone break? I heard there was, like, issues or something. I was just worried that you were, like, had gotten sick or something. I was just want to make sure you were good. Did you just send me this as a gift? I don't remember. This little brooch. And Erin, the Collection Vintage, has a sale tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. So don't miss that. I usually always watch those, but I have to work tomorrow for someone. So um, I'm going to miss that. But maybe I'll be able to catch it on my lunch break. Yeah, I'm glad to see you, Gina. Well, you know, see you. I think it's everything I got from Gina in there. I have so many boxes. 
then I got some Goodwill goodies. Okay. Well, we're praying for you, Gina. Okay. I got a big bag on the floor here. I mean, there's not a million things, but <laughs> try not to break anything. I got this tray. It, like, oops. it says dolphin for good or for food use, genuine teakwood Thailand. I got this for like two twenty nine, and you can see it's dolphin. But there's some wear on the edges here, but I thought like um. Up there on top of my, oops, my drawer carts over there, I've been wanting to put, like, you know, something like this. So that way the weight is more balanced out. So I thought either I could do that or I could craft it up a little bit or, you know, use if I'm, like, displaying things. <laughs> be like, see? Or something. But I was like, for a couple of bucks, that's pretty good. Then... I got this monkey, what is it, monkey pod, genuine monkey pod by Hawaiian Woodcrafters, Honolulu. And this is going to be in a sale, I don't know whether Instagram or next month when I do my sale. I'm going to do some Christmas cutesy stuff at my July sale. It'll probably be more towards the end of the month. No, Christy. I'll get to that. <laughs> but, um, right there, it's like stamped on the back. I haven't taken the prices off of these stores. But, like, and then they had, like, a bigger one that was, like, probably, like, this big. Um, and it was a little bit thinner. But I was like, oh, I don't want to ship that. That's humongous. <laughs> I did make a wreath. I don't I have a picture of it. And actually I have two orders on Facebook already from like Facebook, like one lady who um, works at the same place as me, but she works up front. And then um, that would be cute, Maria. You had kind of like a, I could picture like a Christina Vint Lilacs Vintage Life, you know, like her tiki room. <laughs> She could have this out and put little things in there. I made a wreath for like the 4th of July and a couple orders. And then a little group chat on Instagram said they would all want one. But I want people, like, if you really want to order one, I'll, I'll make one and I'll ship them. So I thought once I have some time to craft, I'll um, do a craft kind of sale. Okay, here's, let me see how, I don't see how many detail you guys can see. But I made this for the 4th of July. It's made out of bandanas. And there's like some, let's see, like some silver ribbon up in the, like, periodically throughout. And then I have stars around the center and red, white, and blue as well. And just have it on a wreath hook on our pharmacy door to like our counseling room where we do our vaccines. But I saw it like in this Dollar Tree craft group. They did it with like the regular bandanas, but the ones that Dollar Tree had were kind of like plasticky feeling. So I was like, I don't know if I cut these, if they'll shred up because like these, they kind of shred a little bit on the edges enough. So I was like, at least I think this would have more volume than something like polyester. Well, thanks, guys. But, um, <laughs> like, so I got a couple orders on these already. And I just used, like, these American flag bandanas that they had. And then, like, they had this red, white, and blue plaid as well. So, um, I have some. So if I, 
you know, if I'm going to do something like that, I'll look again, maybe like at a different Dollar Tree and see if they have like just the plain bandanas too to use. Thanks, Debbie. Hey, Jane. Hey, Catherine. Daniel. I know Carrie's like, you should do a craft with me video. And I'm like, y'all want to sit there for a couple of hours and watch me cut strips of fabric or just watch me assemble it. Like there was, while I was working at the other night, I was um, talking with Kelly Michelle. One second. Sorry. Rather want to know which ice cream was his. <laughs> so, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. But I was talking to Kelly Michelle on video chat because she's opening up the package I sent her, and there was just threads all over the place. And then I got. <laughs> This picture, and I sent it to Katie, and, um, like, in our group chat, and I was like, is this not hilarious? Like, oh, yeah, sorry, I muted it. Like, my brother is knocking on my door. But is this not uh, so cute? It says, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't glare, but. Hey, Laura. Laura, you should be getting something tomorrow from Illinois. <laughs> but I thought this was just so funny. This little turtle says, happy day. I mean, the frame is obviously newer, but like the... Hold on. But the, like, embroidery looks a little bit older. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's not even that old, but it's super cute. Happy day. Hey, Rosie Brown. And to anyone else I've missed. But I thought this would be a cute little picture to sell, you know. And... And I know people in the community love an elephant. You have to wait, Laura. Mary Beth knows. She said you'd probably know. She was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like, Laura probably does. So I'm sure once you'll see it, you'll know. But everyone loves some elephants in the community. So I got these cute... I mean, they're they're not trunk down, Katie, but they're trunk up. <laughs> they're cute little, I'm like kind of little political vibes with the red and blue, but I was like, they're cute. There's a little bit of um, paint loss at the back, but from the the front, there's not that. You know, it's not too bad. I need to clean them off a little more, but but they were just so cute. Yeah, trunk snuggling, and then this is uh, original art mark made in Taiwan. Now I'm gonna sound like Laura. Don't look at my nails; they're terrible. But yeah, this is well, it's hard to read. But art mark. There's a little sticker. That was just little cute elephants. Because, like, I'm going to have a teddy bear to sell. I'm going to have, like, the sun rubber baby 
at that sale from 1956. Um, that still squeaks. And I got, I don't know. I was trying to find like cute things and then I have some Christmas things. Hopefully I can get some Christmas crafts done by then. <laughs> or at least something simple. Um, many, many assemblages. <laughs> but, you know, they'd be easier to pack. I got these cloches. Um, like, that are like, yay big, that, um, maybe I could do, maybe easier to ship out, you know, just bubble wrap that, so ran wrap it up and everything should stay in place. No, seriously, my, ugh, my nails. And then, from making the wreath the other day, I'm like, oh, I have, like, a bunch of cuts on my knuckle right there from the rotary cutter, how that happened, I don't know. And then I saw this lovely vase. Oop. It has a little. And the only thing is that the bottom here has a chip out of it. But I'm like, you can't just like this. Because the rest of it, you know, is there's no like chips. I don't see really any scratches, just like some water spots that I need to get rid of. But I said if you like turn it to the back, this like, you know, three quarters of it is okay. You just sit down there. It's very pretty. That's just like, and this was the Goodwill by my house, which isn't that great. But I was like, I think they're trying to step it up because then they had like different displays and there was... In this section, there was a bunch of different glass things, but I know. I was looking at the bottom. I know because I was like, okay, I, I put it on my phone to make sure it like sits even. It sits pretty even. I mean, and if you put water in it, I'm sure it'll be like the balance will be a better, better with it in there or with something in it. But just needs to be cleaned out. So you have a cute pink base. And then, yeah, let's do this piece. This is a little bud vase I found with some Bellicante bubbles in there. Let's see if I can get my reflection in there. <laughs> but Carrie told me to see if it glows because sometimes the purple things glow. Hey, Jody. I was watching your sale um, earlier. I was just in the back. <laughs> Not saying anything. But then we had we had dinner. But um, And I'm like trying to... I was like, I got to make a setup like Martha. So you can see the... Uh, er, yeah, Martha. With their strips. But it's not super bright. But... It's hard to show, but it does get green. I think. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit, but. But it does glow. Or, you know, kind of. <laughs> kind of. But I thought it's just really pretty purple and you know you don't see a lot of purple things but a cute little bud vase i've been seeing these a lot so i was like okay i'm gonna pick one up finally <laughs> oh my gosh it's getting it's warm in here yeah i creep it in the background uh gina are you still here I got something for you. I gotta remember to go to bed early tonight since I'm opening tomorrow for someone. And usually Mondays I'm off. Gina fall asleep. <laughs> That's fine. 
It'll be a surprise. I got Gina this mermaid. I thought, you know, it's not vintage, but, you know, mermaids are crazy prices. And I was like, I can't pass it up. Oh, I got this for you, Gina. It's just like holding a shell with some shells in it. I just love how her hair has like movement and the uh, tail's a little bit glittery. And the aqua color, like the glitter is kind of blue as well. But it's a shelf sitter <laughs> cat. And um, she's got little felt pads on her booty for the sh um, to stay on the shelf. But here's her from the back, her hair. But I thought, oh, that's just super cute to like, sit on. Guys, I've sent some on the cat, but I, gotta, I need to send Gina some friend mail. Yeah, I thought it'd be perfect. And I gotta send you guys I, I got them brooches. Uh <laughs> I got Gina a little uh pin or a, a brooch or a pin. I think a pin. It has a little crab and in one of the claws is a knife. <laughs> and I was like, that just reminds me of Gina. It's funny. I know. I keep trying not to say that, Gina. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. And then I found this backpack, which, I mean, I buy a lot of purses and backpacks for myself, but I thought this might be something that someone would like in the community. It's a Catherine Malandrino backpack. If you know anything about fashion, <laughs> she's a designer and... They have the tag here, Catherine Malandrino, Paris. And, I mean, they sell some of her stuff at, what is it? Burlington, like the gift sets and stuff, but I just need to be wiped down because honestly, there's not, you know, usually you'll find the backpack or purse in good condition, but not the straps, but the straps are in good condition. And then I opened it, and the top is, like, suede. And that's almost, like, brand new. And the inside has a floral print. And then it has her name, if you can see, like, right there. And the inside is clean. There's, like, a zippered pocket and two pockets in there, and I have something else, the last item in there, but I thought, you know, this is like a fun, kind of like, you know, summery, you could use for summer bag, it's got, it's kind of, this is like a purpley fuchsia color, but kind of like toned down, and then this kind of cherry red, but I thought that's just a cute little backpack, and it's like wider across. And it's got, I think, the, yeah, the buttons on the side so you can expand it a little bit. You could put a tablet in here. It's big enough for that. Or a camera, like if you're out and about at a park, you know, or like Disney World, whatever, you could fit it in here. I know, like, this is actually the first nice bag I've seen there. I mean... There's some okay bags, but <laughs> this is pretty good. I can put Tippy in a Kath Catherine Malandrino bag, Christy. That's <sighs> um. I mean, you probably would. Like, <sighs> yeah. I mean. From the tips of my finger, it comes up to like about here, so it's, it's pretty deep, but like, okay, I think this is the last set of things in here. I know he's a fancy dog, he's a spoiled dog.
Hey, Buck. Yeah, you gotta put a liner in it then, Christy. And then this is, sorry, the backpack. No. <laughs> Fine. Oh, Jim Helper. I love Jim Helper. Hey, Cha Cha. Well, this, before I spill something, this is the last thing I found. A bunch of glass fruit and vegetables. Or, or yeah. Let me put this down. Hold on. And I kind of, they had the bag tape shut, so I didn't check in the store. But I, I mean, I looked through the bag, and I think only the watermelon has a chip like on its stem but um so here's the watermelon yeah i think yeah but it's a watermelon and that just has like you know, a thing probably the little part where it curls over it's chipped right there but Honestly, if you're putting it in a bowl, if you put it in a bowl with this stuff, probably won't notice that bad, especially if you put it like this way with the stem down. <laughs> but it's a cute little watermelon. Like, glass. This one's, oh, this one actually has some like delicante in there. I'm surprised this leaf is like totally intact. And I looked at all their, it's like their stems, they're all kind of like this flat point. It just has some little bubbles in there. It's all green apple. This one's pretty heavy. Okay, I missed this whole pink banana thing. So, please explain. But, um... Oh my gosh. Then got this orange. Oh, I think the tip of this, I guess, is missing a tiny little piece. But this orange actually has texture to it. The bottom is clear, polished, ponto mark. But there's like texture to it. I just love how the leaf kind of curls out, but there's a, just the tiniest little chip on there, like from the corner. Okay, sandpaper. Okay, I got that right over there. And... I think this is a lemon, which I guess is meant to sit this way because it's got a flat bottom. And there's a little leaf kind of curled up in. And this has bubbles in it as well. Controlled bubbles. Oh my gosh, these are heavy. I mean to like hold up. I have, I like I'm so short, okay. I'm five three and so but I've watched enough crazy lamp lady where she says, you know, you gotta look down at the bottom or you look up at the top, like or else you're gonna miss things. And I happened to just look up and it was above the basket area. And I looked up and I just saw this bag on the top shelf and I was like, oh my God, it's that glass. <laughs> and I grabbed it and I was like, oh yeah, because this is pretty dang heavy. But this, I don't think is a banana. I think it's a squash. Uh, did I miss? What's the pink banana story, Vinny? <laughs> 
but um at this see i just i was like well maybe it is a banana i don't know i was like or maybe it's like a yellow squash but no dirty jokes <laughs> but yeah this is folded over up top and has a little thing and this has like the same texture kind of as the orange on the inside the paint but yeah i don't think any of these things glow no but Oh, my cute glass fruit. It's a banana. A pink banana. Okay. Right, and so that's my haul. <laughs> so, most of that will be in sales or available to buy except for the tray i think the sell i mean besides like the stuff i bought for myself like in the beginning but all the stuff from goodwill like i need to go back to that goodwill where i got the other stuff from because i was trying to find some cute you know cute see kind of stuff for the next sale so I'll have to go back there and check it out. They had some... <laughs> there was some creepy clown stuff. I sent Katie, like, a picture, because... <laughs> there was, like, a hobo-looking clown, and right by his crotch ear, I, I don't know if it was supposed to be, like, a bag he was holding open or what, but it was just a big old opening, like... <laughs> like a planter but obviously it was too small because it was only like this big but it was an opening right here and I'm like uh that's just creepy thanks Carrie yeah don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you haven't trying to get to 500 and we'll do another giveaway gotta go search in and find something really cool to give away and then I can promote that but uh, if anyone didn't see the beginning, I got this little butterfly napkin holder from Gina. And I got this owl trivet. But it's green and red. I need to just try to scrub these up a little. A little mushroom trivet. Or as a uh, cat says, a little phallic mushrooms. <laughs> So, take a good look. <laughs> this I wiped down with a can sanitizer and I took, like, all this stuff right off. Now that I sent all my packages out, besides you book, because I want to see if there's some things I can include. But, um, I need to send some friend mail out. But, I again, I appreciate everybody who bought from my sale. Everything is out. And hopefully delivery will be in the next couple days. Uh, it actually all went faster than I thought. But, I mean, it took me longer than I thought to ship because I was working. So, trying to squeeze it in here and there. But, I appreciate everybody who came to the sale and who bought from the sale. Especially Belinda, who bought eight, eight different things. Um, her package is like... Perfect when he, when it gets to you. But, yeah, don't forget, so there's Aaron sale tomorrow morning. Um, I think there might be a sale before Aaron. Uh, I forgot. There's so many pop-up sales in the week. Uh, um... I CRS, so many things going on. Oh, thr thrifting adventure. So Sandy, or I mean, damn it, I did it again. Trisha, 
Hey, Diane. Um, Trisha and Stephanie, I believe on Stephanie's channel, Thrifting Adventures. Hey, Gina, um, are having a sale at 12 Eastern. Thanks, Belinda. I just finished my haul, Gina, but yeah, it showed some stuff I'm gonna, I got from Goodwill for um, sale. I got this from an Instagram seller for myself from Vintage Lolly, L O L L I. Love that. Just gotta find places for all these things until. I have the room to put them up. I got all my glass fruit. Got my glass orange. This is really cool. I like the got texture on it. I got my little elephants with their intertwined trunks. And I got this vase. This pretty pink vase. Like the little star pointed bottom. And then a little turtle picture that says happy day with his strawberries or tomatoes. And I got this big monkey pot dish from Honolulu. So this will be up for sale too. And anyone who's bought it, who bought at my sale and is when they get their packages, I just was like, this is my first sale. I would love to know if everything is there intact. I mean, sure it's broken. You'll let me know, but I would, I mean, I would just love to like see where you put it or like, you know, just know that everything is good, you know, because you know how things get jostled around in the post, you know, service, you know. So, if you bought something for me and you get it this week, just send me a message on Instagram. I'd love to see it when it gets there. Yes. Noon Eastern um, for Sandy and Stephanie. And then... Erin, and then I believe Julia is still not having her sale tomorrow because I believe she's traveling. And then we got Danny, the niche lady, has her live chat around 3 Central, 4 Eastern. And Tim, over the years, has his preview and then his sale later. Vintage Rescue Squad is having Steph, no, Sarah, the traveling button, I believe, and Yvonne. And then Lucid at 9 o'clock. Me too, Cat. <laughs> like, um, before, like, before I had a sale that, like, two days before, I sold that glass dolphin, my art glass dolphin, um, to the vintage bulldog, who I got that mushroom tribute from, and she sent me, I think I, or no, I don't, I don't, I didn't post a picture, but she had sent me a picture in, you know, up on their sun's shelf with everything. Night, Aaron. But, yeah, it was cool, you know, seeing the dolphin that I sent. She said it got there perfectly, like, up on his shelf with all his little glass animals. Oh, sorry, Yvonne Thrifty Rich. It's going to be back on. <laughs> yeah, Jody. If you're not following Jody, she has sales on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern. And Kat and Gina on Tuesday, I believe they should be having their sale. And then on Kat's channel on Wednesday, are you guys have any, having any guests this week? Yeah, sorry, Jody. I need to uh, go find, get some more bandana supplies for these wreaths. I still have some fabric left over, like, from the bandanas, but I need another wreath for them. So I don't think I have any more of those, but... 
now they have square wreath forms at the Dollar Tree. And sometimes they have like a, not wicker, but like the branch kind of intertwined ones too. Okay, just you two this week, but make sure to tune in to Vintage Digs on Tuesday for their sale at 7 Eastern, I think. I can never remember. But yeah, Lucid and Teresa every Monday through Friday in the morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central. Oh, Catherine won something cool. Don't forget Martha, Vintage Conversation. She's Thursdays after Patrick for her midnight midnight sale, midnight owl sale, something. Oh, cool, Catherine. Catherine is having a Shop With Me premiere on Wednesday. It has an epic glass place, mid-century. Yeah, if you're not following Catherine, you should definitely subscribe to her channel, but follow her on Instagram as well. I think it's Catherine Young Creative. Um, she's been sharing, like, things that she's been opening. Moonlight sale, thank you. <laughs> um, she's been sharing stuff that you know, she's been setting up her new condo, and uh, she has this cool, I forget what it, the piece of furniture is called, but this nice little seat reminds me of, like, the gossip chair type of thing, but it's a little um, chair with, like, a tabletop. And Jane on Tuesday at 10 Eastern. And Jane is the sweetest. Don't forget to tune into Jane. And that girl, she goes for hours. <laughs> so, she's got a lot of stuff to show you. Don't miss it. Glowy girl. I've got, oh, it is a gossip chair. Yeah, I thought it was just so neat looking. Like, it's very stylish. All right, I'm getting a little uh, tired. I'm going to take my pain medication earlier today for my back. So I'm going to let y'all go. Thanks for coming to my haul. I appreciate it. And again, hit the thumbs up, comment after, subscribe what your favorite thing was. You know, you can comment underneath when this posts and uh, I'll see you in the chat. <laughs> I'll be working earlier tomorrow. So I should be in the chat or the sale tomorrow night at Tim's. And try to check in with the rescue squad. And everyone have a great week. Thanks again.